I'm going to do something a little different today. I got a sun oven and I'm going to be using it a lot. And just to forewarn you, I'm going to be doing a lot of these videos if sun oven is just not your thing, solar cooking, and you're subscribed, you may want to unsubscribe for a while. It's not going to hurt my feelings. Um, but I got the sun oven and I want to use it a lot because I don't want it to become an, like one of those appliances that is a novelty for a couple of weeks and then it gets put away and never used again. I like this thing. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to prep some pork spare ribs and then slow cook them in the sun oven all day. I'm going to kind of aim this oven so that it doesn't have the full energy of the sun, but just enough to maintain a, um, a slow cooking temperature. So let's make some uh, barbecue spare ribs, but cooked in a sun oven. This is my all-American sun oven warming up in the sun. It will get fairly hot inside with good sun and a cloudless sky. This oven will heat up to around 350 degrees Fahrenheit or about 175 degrees Celsius or more. It can get hotter. Now again, I'm going to aim the oven a little away from the sun to cook at a lower temperature because I want to slow cook the spare ribs all day. Okay, what I've got here is some ribs that I'm going to slow cook. Um, I should mention if you hear any rumbling in the background that sounds like thunder, it's thunder, but it's going away. It's actually further away. It never actually rained here. There's hazy sunshine outside, which is okay because I don't need to get my sun oven up to 350 degrees. So I want to slow cook my ribs, so I'm going to be adjusting it off sun a little bit so I can hopefully maintain a temperature, an internal temperature, of around 220 to 250 degrees. But the first thing I need to do is prep my ribs. They have been marinating, and I'm going to use the marinade to make a barbecue sauce, which, by the way, you know when you're grilling, you put your barbecue sauce at the end because the tomato in it and the sugar will burn. But with a sun oven, you don't have to worry about that. It doesn't get hot enough in there to burn. You can put your barbecue sauce on your, your ribs or your chicken, whatever, right away. So let's prepare my ribs. I'm going to do a simple preparation for the ribs. So there are my ribs. I'm using, I'm going to be using some of my homemade rub. This is labeled pork spare ribs rub. It's got a bunch of different things in it. I got the recipe off the internet. You can go on the internet and find all kinds of recipes for these homemade rubs. So um, this is the bone side. So I'm going to mostly just sprinkle this over here because this is where the meat is. Okay, and then I'm not going to deal with the bones. Oh, I can smell the cinnamon in that. Is there cinnamon in this? Yep, there's cinnamon. I made this a long time ago. I'm going to forget the sprinkles. Actually, I could have opened the other side, but I'm going to just pour it on there. And then rub it in. That's why it's called a rub. Okay. Get it all stuck on, I hope. And then I'm going to put this in a little pan that will fit in my oven. And I'm going to put, I think, a little bit of um, beef stock and some bourbon in the pan to have a little bit of uh, juice in there. Not too much. I don't want to um, steam my ribs. I don't want to cook them in liquid, but a little bit of moisture I think will help and it'll probably give off some moisture. There are my ribs. After cooking all day, you can see how much it's pulled away from the ends of the bones. That's an indication that it's fall from the bone tender. It looks burnt, but it's not because that's just the rub that I put on it. You can't burn food 
in a solar oven. It doesn't get that hot. I cooked these at about, I tried to keep the temperature at 225 degrees Fahrenheit, which is 100 degrees, 107 degrees Celsius. And I did that by turning the oven to get more or less sunlight onto it. Now I want to, I, I made up some barbecue sauce I'm going to mop this with. This I made up from the marinade. And it was okay because it didn't sit in the marinade all day. Actually, I was frozen in the marinade. And all I did with the marinade was I added honey and then I cooked it down till it was, was a sauce. And how tender is this? Oh yeah, look at that. It just it just flakes. It flakes, it's so tender. Oh, that is gonna be so good. Let's see how that tastes. I gotta tell you, this is the first time I've cooked in my sun oven, and this is the first time that I feel like I've finally succeeded in making some really good, tender pork spare ribs. Mm-hmm. Wow. That is so good. That is so good. And of course, my beloved broccoli. I love broccoli. Crisp, tender. So excuse me, I'm going to go have my dinner of sun oven cooked ribs.